what's up everyone and welcome back to our channel where we simplify the world of accounting and finance today we're diving into a situation that every business owner dreads dealing with a bounce check in quickbooks online but but fear not we've got you covered with we have some creative solutions and before diving into it if you enjoy videos about most of the topics that we cover do not forget to hit that subscribe button below and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. So, you receive a check and it bounces like a basketball. <laughs> so, first things first, do not panic, all right? These things happen to, to any of us, to the best of us. So, what you're going to do is go to your uh, QuickBooks Online dashboard and let's get started, all right? Um, but before that, um, I just wanted to clear the air that keeping your financial records accurate is essential for understanding your, obviously, um, business's financial health. Recording a balance check is very important, right? It helps you account for the funds that w were expected but never received. So it ensures your financial statements reflects the reality of your cash flow. So during reconciliation, when you reconcile your bank accounts in QuickBooks Online, you can match your recorded transaction with your bank statement. Recording bounce checks allows you to identify discrepancies between your records and the bank records and take appropriate actions to correct them, right? So essentially, a bounce check is a bad debt, whether we agree about it or not. So let's get into it so if you are using the same version that i have here go to this icon um where it says lists and then you hover to products and services now you go to add a product or service again this might be different from the version that you have so if you have the same version that i have uh, add product or service then you have two options here non-inventory or service we click on service and clicking on service you might want to put the um, bounce check for training and tutorial purposes only right so we're not going to deal with SKU we're not going to deal with category and most importantly we when you hover to income account if you can find checking here let's let, let's see if we can find it here unapplied cash payment income and, and categorized income cost of sales freight and delivery mm -hmm -hmm. i simply can't find um uh a checking yeah i can't have it but but don't worry don't fret because we can actually add checking here see all right all right um save and close all right now our bounce check is saved let's say for example this is the bounce check right let's say for example and then when you go to the invoice go to invoice let's say um go to product and service let's say you choose the bounce check right so type in the name of uh their intended recipient make sure that the uh the the email address is correct and just double checking some information here all right and save again you can customize the information uh here if you have watched some of our videos you can attach supplemental information here as well but be mindful that it only allows 20 mb as a file size limit and save and send yeah some things that run because obviously this is not a this is not a a true um account this is for just demo but anyway, uh, there you have it. You've successfully um, uh, created 
um, and making a solution to the bounce check in QuickBooks Online. And once again, if you find this tutorial very helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more QuickBooks and accounting tips. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next next one. And happy bookkeeping.